His name is John Wimber. He started the vineyard because he hungered for the supernatural in Christianity. I love Jesus. I love the stuff he did. I love the multiplying of the food and, and the healing of the sick and giving sight to the blind, spitting in people's eyes. I, mean, I love that stuff, you know. The first time he went to church, Wimber says he expected miracles. Nobody did it. After just three Sundays, he was frustrated. So I went up to this guy and I pulled on his sleeve and he had a, something on his chest with his name on it, so I figured he must know something. I said, when do they do it? He said, do what? I said, the stuff. He said, what stuff? I said, the stuff in the Bible. He said, well, uh, what do you mean? I said, well, you know, multiply the fishes and the loaves and, 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 and feed the hungry and all that stuff. When do they do that? He said, oh, we don't do that. We believe in it. We pray about it, but we don't do it. And I was terribly disappointed. I said, wait a minute. You don't understand. I gave up drugs for this. I gave up my career for this. You mean I don't get to do it? When I worked for the devil, I got to do the devil stuff. If I'm working for Jesus, I want to do what Jesus did. It has been said, Mr. Wimber, that you need, I think somebody said, the manna of signs and wonders for the Vineyard Church to survive. Is that a fair comment? I believe that the Church of Jesus Christ needs that today in order to survive. I think we're out done. We, we can't spend the money on theater. The theater can. We can't entertain better than television can. We're not better spokesmen. We're not better philosophers. We, haven't, we can't counsel better than the counselors do. What do we have to offer? Force and power, sometimes with men. It has seasons.